I have E411. Low pressure switch strikes lockout. What's the brand and model of your HVAC unit? How old is it? Installed July 2017. Lennox Elite EP20024. How long has this been going on with your Lennox unit? What have you tried so far? You started about seven hours ago. I haven't done anything yet. Wondering if I can reset it and recheck. Anything else we should know to help you best? No. Hi, my name is Mike. I have accepted your question and will be happy to help you. Please note my hours are 6.30 p.m. to 5 a.m. MST, Mountain Standard Time. If you reach me within that time frame I should be able to immediately respond however at times it may take a little while for a response depending on workload, outside of that time frame my response will likely be much longer. Please reply to this message so we can get started, thanks so much, Mike smile this is a general answer in the meantime the first step to fixing most issues like this is to do a hard restart on your system. Power the unit off at the breaker for 15 minutes then power it back on. Let me know how that goes and then get back to me here if you need and further assistance. I'll try the reset. You're talking about the Lennox HVAC, right? Yes, if it's a low pressure cutout, this should reset it. If it happens again, then you likely have a low refrigerant charge, dirty filter, poor air circulation. More often than not, it is a low refrigerant charge due to a refrigerant leak. Okay, I'll try the reset. It was serviced just last May. They can typically develop a leak at any time and depending on the leak size can take months to run low enough to cause an issue. Okay. Counting to 15 now and number 55357 semicolon and number 56846. After resetting CB I have a new code 434. Looks like a normal code after failing power. Yes, that should clear. Okay, but how do I delete all the codes? The unit is running. Of course it was running before as well. You there. Are you there? I am still here are both codes still active? Yesterday's. The low pressure and the power failure code correct? 434 and 411. 411 and 434. Are you helping me or not? I am we are under pretty high demand until about 630 p.m. so the responses are slow at times. Okay need to do a power reset on the thermostat now. Okay. Walk me through it, Plaza. Pull the thermostat straight from the wall. Is this to clear codes? Yes. Pull it from the wall then place it back in place. I have pulled it out. If that does not work then do this follow these steps to reset your Linux thermostat, from the home screen, touch the Linux logo and hold for 5 seconds. A message screen stating qualified Linux equipment installers only warning screen will appear. Touch the reset button. The thermostat will reboot itself. Okay it's starting back up. Codes are still there. I'm not a qualified guy. I am leery of doing that. 
Can it damage something? Not as long as you only do that procedure and nothing else. If you want to wait. Okay, I just did it and it still got the codes. So I will tell you this. What will likely happen is we will get the codes to reset, and then that unit will run and the first code will likely show up again and at this point you will need to have a tech come on site and leak check the unit. Okay one more thing to try is shut power off to the unit again then perform the procedure follow these steps to reset your Linux thermostat, from the home screen, touch the Linux logo and hold for 5 seconds. A message screen stating qualified Linux equipment installers only warning screen will appear. Touch the reset button. The thermostat will reboot itself. Okay, I've got a call into Linux now, but it's taking a long time. Okay, so you mean start the whole thing again with DP, then the reset. Right. Correct. Okay, I'll be back in 15 minutes. If the unit is not under warranty I wouldn't bother with Linux and would go with a local HVAC company. Ivy only had it since July 2017 so it should still be under warranty. Do a Google or Yelp search and grab a HVAC company with a 4.5 rating or better have them come out and leak check is what I would do. If you decide to go that route I will leave this question open until that service tech finishes that way you can still use me as a second option to keep you from getting ripped off or sold something you don't need. Okay we'll do that. Do I need a number or anything? Yeah you should still be under warranty okay give Linux a shot but it's going to take a while to get them to service it. And I'll bet my tool belt Linux will tell you if it's a leak and not a faulty sensor, also a possibility, then it's related to the install and to contact the installer. I'm calling the installer. Okay, that's probably best. THX. No problem. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.